Tomorrow, Pal Norte.
I didn't do anything today. Mexico City for me has always been where I've had the most listeners and uh, I don't think as a band we've ever been as excited about the live show as we are now. I thought I could do this and multitask, but I'm like, my brain, my brain just like split in half. <laughs> Thank you. 
quite a bit of fun. It's like a big puzzle. <laughs> 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 You're five, sir? But so far, yeah. We can go to the festival and say, dude. Yep. <laughs> he, 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 was, he did it with one, his bass drum was on his left leg. Yeah. Yeah, I got that. Elliot Moss, what's up, bro? Not much sitting in the chair. How are you? Okay, I'm fine. Well, I, I... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Musicians ready themselves for another beautiful day in the Corona Capital Festival tent. They tidy their clothes, dry their hair, and prepare themselves for the day. Mexico, day 11. The van is full of people again. The van is full of people again, and the driver waits excitedly outside the festival gates to be let in. Once inside, the band is free to play for about 40 minutes at a specific time. Elliot strides over the stage to see if it's large enough for his ego. Not quite. An angry mob spots him, demanding he leave at once. While backstage, the crew is preparing their magical recipe of widgets and wing nuts to assemble the machine that will create 40 minutes of uninterrupted music. Feeling obligated to wave, Lauren waves. iPads whiz and whir with the latest software. Tension hangs in the air with Tame Impala's incredible lighting setup. Devin looks out at the crowd, wondering, will there be a crowd? Sam angrily raises his eyebrow in anticipation of today's performance challenge. Tacos are served backstage. Meanwhile, the equipment is pushed front and center, ready to be played for approximately 40 minutes. Thank you. Well, it's nice to not be in my attic. <laughs> 